three, two, one. What's going on guys? It's Ricky with TechBud Solutions. I hope that you guys are all having an amazing day. I wanna show you guys what I was able to lock in today. Uh, first of all, for those that aren't familiar with who it is that I am, uh, my name is Ricky. I run the largest YouTube channel and the largest Facebook group uh, for those who invest in the stock market. We have an amazing community that's free. If you want to be a part of it, it's called TechBud Solutions. Feel free to search us up on, on YouTube or on Facebook. Um, the link is provided for you down below if you're interested. I think it's that fourth link down in the description. It's an absolute free group um, and we can stay connected. We have over 170,000 members within our free Facebook group. Um, but as of today, um, on Friday, feel free to check out that video. Uh, let me actually show you that video very quickly. Uh, so let me move on right on over here. Uh, so this was a video that I uploaded six hours ago. So talking a little bit more about the reverse stock split that DGAS went through, very common question, our Sunday stock talk. I made a video also talking about how I cleared a little bit over $10,000 in one week. Check out that video. I don't normally make $10,000 in one week when it comes down to trading. Feel free to check that out though. Uh, amazing explanation, really good feedback. Uh, but I wanted to talk about, you know, I did a step-by-step -step breakdown on one of my losses for $760. And I also did a, a breakdown on my profit on $5,400 in one day. So today I had an absolute amazing day um, and truly blessed. You guys know that normally uh, my my weekly goal is 10 to 15% growth um, and that will get me to my overall weekly growth. That's weekly, not daily, weekly. $2,500, that's what I aim for. $2,500 to $3,000. So blessed. Uh, not only am I going to show you my PL on you guys, you guys can check it out right over here. So I'm using the TD Ameritrade Thinkorswim platform. You guys, I mean, the Learn Plan Profit Group gets to watch me trade live every single day. Um, they saw me make, if I'm not mistaken, about $700 to $800 in the morning, and the remaining amount was made as I was actually driving, commuting to Scottsdale, and then on the way back, and then when I was having lunch. Um, I kept you guys up to date the entire way. If you're part of TechBud Solutions and if you're part of Learn Plant Profits, I thank you again so much for being a part of my experience today. Um, I want also you get a very common question is like, well, Ricky, how much money did you trade with um, to make this amount? So I'm showing you the profits on this. I'm showing you the profits on DGAS. DGAS was not that good. $112 overall. Let me show you this. You guys, DGAS overall profit on the day, $2,600. So blessed, so amazing. I'm gonna show you guys my fill orders. If you follow me, again, a majority of my trades were done uh, during pre-market hours. Uh, there's a total of 32 orders that were, or 37 fills, I'm sorry. Altogether, that's about $100 in commission. Um, if you guys have kept up to date with my uh, TOS or my TD Ameritrade um, platform, um, I call them all the time. You guys know that I have reduced commissions at 295. I was actually given 40 free trades, so I don't even know if, the 37 were even charged or anything like that. But altogether, um, if you guys haven't called TD Ameritrade, you guys just have to jump on a phone call with them. If you have over $3,000 in your account, use promo code 220. It's not even one that's associated with me. They give you 500 free trades. Amazing thing to be a part of if you're trying to reduce commission. But now I wanna talk about what led to my success. Uh, which, I mean, I can try to talk about DGAS and how I made $112, but you know, it doesn't really matter, right? Also for you guys that want to check out, you know, my, my fills and stuff like that, not every single line is an order. Uh, some were filled separately, but it's just one order. So it's just one commission that was charged for those that really want to like, again, nitpick all my orders and stuff like that. Uh, but the most important thing that you guys can check out is at most, if I'm not mistaken, the most shares that I had were 300 shares. Um, again, my account as of right now sits a little bit over $45,000. I normally trade at start my month at $25,000. I grow it to whatever it is that I do. And at the end of the month, like you will see at the end of this month, I will pay myself back down to 30 to $25,000, depending on how I'm feeling and stuff like that. So I don't really want to talk about DGAS. I didn't do very well with it. I mean, so blessed again, $112 is a lot of money, but a majority of my profits were made on you guys. Can you guys tell me, so for those that are tuning in live right now, um, it's not a surprise, right? That I made money on you guys or DGAS or that I'm trading it better. Better. That sounded a little cocky. I apologize. Uh, but there's no surprise that I focused on you guys or DGAS. Um, can you guys let me know what led to my success trading you guys? I want, I want to get some feedback from you guys. What do you think that I did well with you guys? Why do you think I paid so much attention to UGAZ instead of DGAS? For those that are tuning in right now. So dip buy, that's, yeah, so it did sell off. Overall, it closed red on the day. Again, all I'm focusing are, are, are on day trades. Market has been very inconsistent. I don't swing trade anything anymore whatsoever. I don't feel comfortable doing it. 
right? Natural gas season, another thing to take into consideration. I made a video four weeks ago talking about natural gas season. That's another reason, right? Sell off, top view up. Most important thing is what? Three things that I try to focus on. Direction, trading in between the middle and top view up. So again, showing signs of an uptrend and continuously making higher highs. And sometimes it takes time to identify direction and that's okay. It's something that we covered in the Learn, Plan, Profit live stream today, right? And then the last thing is the margin of profit for the margin of profit to be worth it. Again, this thing closed at around one four five, one hundred forty five dollars on Friday and it opened at around. What is this? One twenty four margin of profit. Pretty solid. Look at all that margin that it had to fill. I understood once I clarified that, hey, this thing is making higher highs. It's pulling back, but it's not going as low as it did before. So it was showing signs of an uptrend. I understand the direction I traded all the time. So I understand the pattern and the margin of profit was worth it. Three attractive qualities. Screw you guys. And I mean that from the bottom of my heart, like who cares about you guys? This isn't for you to trade you guys. It's completely irrelevant. It's the pattern that I'm trying to emphasize. That's so important for whatever stock that led to your success today. Was it showing signs of an uptrend? Did you understand the pattern and was the margin of profit worth it? Is, are those the three reasons that that led to your success? It's what led to my success today. One thing that I could have done better is we covered it in the Learn, Plan, Profit live stream again. Um, I was trading it when um, actually I bought in live, right? So it was selling off. I bought in. I thought I was buying at the bottom due to previous patterns around here. It continues to sell off. So a thing that we talked about is my entry point. My entry point could have been so much better. My exit, I exited at around 132.02. Um, again, if you're part of Learn, Plan, Profit, um, all you guys have to do is go to the LPP chat, go to the morning live chat library and watch this video. Again, we go live every single day, every single day since a year ago. You get access to the Learn, Plan, Profit course and you get access to watching me trade live every single day. So again, I talked about my exit. I felt comfortable with that. Obviously, I didn't sell at the highest price point. That's irrelevant. I don't want to be greedy, right? It, there, it showed signs of a previous resistance. Anything above, everything above 130 to 131, 132, that's all overbought. Look at the RSI. Th that, that, those are all price points that are not the best deals. It makes sense why it would peak out there and then it would sell off, consolidate. I did a really good job on my second entry when it started to show signs of an uptrend. What did I do? I waited for the break above the EMA line. If I want to grow my account, I want the pattern to show signs of growth. What does that look like? The candles making higher highs. It's sold off. It's consolidated right around the SMA line before. So now, now all I have to wait for is it was building a slight little resistance. Look right here, right around 128, right? 128 was making higher highs. And then guess what? Started showing signs of an uptrend. It's above the EMA line. It's above the middle view up and it's showing signs of an uptrend. It broke above 128. And again, my entry points were not the best. And we can go back to try to see exactly um, when I was getting filled. If you guys really want to dedicate time to like see which fill, there's a couple orders um, that you guys can look into to try to see exactly when I got filled. All I was focusing on was not getting in at the best, uh, like exact lowest price point. All I was focusing on is I would take a hundred share position size, which is about, what is that? $13,000. And then it would break another resistance level and I would add more to my position size, another hundred shares. And then it would break another resistance level and I'd add another hundred shares. I think I ended up selling at around like 131 to 132. Um, I think we could find that order again. Uh, let's see. Where's it at? Um, it, was, it was a pretty decent order right here. Let's see. Was this it? Yeah, right here. 13, 130. Not bad, right? Because I bought at an average of like 128. So again, all I was focusing on was not getting in at the lowest price point. I didn't care about that. I focused on direction. I focused on the pattern and I focused that the opportunity cost was worth it. That's what led to my success today. With DGAS, I was down on this position. If you guys, um, I want to see if I could find it. On my first update for my profits, I was up like, what, like $1,500 or something like that. Um, but all together uh, with those $1,500, I was down like 177 or something like that on DGAS originally. Let me see if I could post it. Um, dang, I'm so sorry. I should have had it prepared. I do apologize. Um, I was down about 177 on DGAS. I was up about one, like 1600 on UGAS. But no, this was last Friday. That was when I lost $760. Um, yeah, so. I, I really should have done a better job. But again, I was down on that specific position and then ended up recovering and was able to recover actually. 
Oh, here we go. Sorry about that. So I was down set $177, just like I said, and then I was up nearly $1,700. So I was at a total of $1,500 profit. And then what did I do? Um, I tried to scalp DGAS. I did fine, locked in profits, uh, but I only got to $112 on the day. So I recovered from a red kind of trade on DGAS and went to green. But again, I honestly, one of my worst trades today, They're not, not because of the profits and not because of the dollar value, but can you guys answer why? Why? Is DGAS probably not the best investment that I could have made? Why? Can you guys let, uh, give me some feedback? Why would that possibly not be the best decision to have invested in DGAS? What pattern was it showing? It was downtrending, right? Even even with UGAS, like my entry points were not perfect, but I was investing in something that was showing signs of growth that day. You know, definitely something that was, according to my criteria, it made sense. DGAS did not. I was literally trading it to try to get out from the red to the green. Very sketchy like type of trade to make. Very risky, right? Um, best thing for me, right? You don't have to follow the way that I do things, but best thing is focus on whatever showing signs of an uptrend, the pattern in which you understand. It takes time to understand patterns, so make sure you practice with paper trading. And then the last thing is make sure that the margin of profit is worth it. Once you see something so overbought, trust me, I held back so freaking hard to not trade DGAS and UGAS again after I locked in the $2,600. The reason why is I saw it continue to consolidate UGAS and DGAS and there's margins where it was like one to almost 2%. That's a lot of money when you're trading with about $30,000. That's about $300. That's a lot of money to me. So, but I restrained myself from trading that because the patterns continue to consolidate, the margin of profit was not worth it that much, and I didn't wanna give back any of my profits. I did amazing on the day, so blessed that my daily goal is $500 to $750, and I was able to close the day at over $2,600. I didn't wanna overtrade, I didn't wanna be greedy, and trust me, it's still a thing that, I love trading so much, and it's a thing that I struggle with sometimes that I, I trade a little bit too much, and it does set me back sometimes, right? I give back some of my profits. It happens a lot of the times. But what we have to learn is just continue to write it down. A note that you can write down right next to your desk is, again, after you hit your daily goal, maybe just remind yourself that it's maybe not the best thing to do to take another position, not to overtrade if the margin of profit isn't worth it. You should have your criteria checklist right next to you. I have mine here open every single day. Every single day. I have my checklist here, regardless if you guys you know, think that I have it or not, I have it there every single day. And it's just a constant reminder that, hey, I need to focus on criteria. If I want to be a successful investor, I want to make sure that what I invest in meets certain criteria so it's valued as a, you know, quality, quality investment. You work very hard for your money, you want to make sure that it works very hard for you. I'm so blessed to be in a position where I could invest money to make money. And so are each and every single one of you. But first, Focus on understanding patterns, focus on understanding direction, and focus on understanding margin of profit and risk management and stuff like that. I think the best way to do that is to start paper trading. And again, all power to you. Even if you wanna do the one share test buy, YouTube that, I have a video on that, um, but just to get some skin in the game, but reduce and, and not focus so much on the monetary aspect. Once you build your eye for value, then you can focus on, again, maybe trying to focus a little bit more on making money. But as of right now, just focus on the understanding of what it is that you're doing to always have a reason for what you do. Again, I'm not swing trading. I'm not holding anything overnight. Uh, market's been very volatile. I so many questions about like, Ricky, do I swing trade this? I've been focusing on direction, locking in profits and staying green. That's all. Um, and I just wanted to provide you guys a detailed recap. I did a detailed recap on my loss on Friday. I wanted to provide a detailed recap on my profits today. And if you guys have any questions or any suggestions, feel free to drop it down in the comment section and I would be more than happy uh, to answer it. Again, if you want to stay connected, feel free to join our free Facebook group, TechBot Solutions. It's the third or fourth link in the description. If you wanna watch me trade live, just like I said, the Learn Plan Profit Group, they get to watch me trade live every single morning. All you have to do is click the first link in the description. We still have our Cyber Monday sale that ends tonight. It's $60 off. Um, and again, we have our $500 giveaway this Saturday. So all you have to do in, is is to be enrolled in Learn Plan Profit to be a part of that. Uh, the second link is, if I'm not mistaken, the TechBits Apparel website. Everything is 50% off. So these shirts, 
or ten dollars instead of twenty. Uh, the same thing with the hoodie. Uh, well, these are fourteen dollars instead of twenty-eight. So everything's fifty percent off. Shirts are starting at seven dollars and fifty cents. Again, everything ends tonight. So again, hoodies are fourteen dollars. Also, hard shirts, everything. Profit shirts, um, you know, straight out of Wall Street. Everything. Everything is fifty percent off. Um, apply promo code Cyber at checkout, or just click the link and it should automatically apply it for you. These are probably one of my favorites now. Um, the what was it called? It's just a sweatshirt uh, without the hoodie. Again, being able to get this for what is that? Like nine dollars and fifty cents uh, for the trade less, profit more. So again, be sure to check that out. And also, if you guys want to work with our Flipping Wheels group and learn how it is that we invest in cars, then click that third link in the description and just simply check it out. Even if you don't want to enroll, if it's not time for you to, you know, be a part of the group, all power to you. So, uh, but just feel free to check it out and we can kind of go from there. So I hope that I earned your thumbs up. I hope you guys learned uh, something new in this video. Um, hope, you know, you guys ended the day green. Uh, let's just continue to focus on whatever showing signs of an uptrend. Let's lock in those profits and let's stay consistent. Um, hope you guys all have an amazing rest of your week. Like always, let's make sure that we end the year on a green note. Take care.